Now in the last video, I promised you that that was the hardest equation. I stand by that. The only difference here is I have some simplifying to do. I need to make this equation look prettier before I actually solve. So you're gonna encounter problems where you're gonna to have to collect like terms like this one. Some you might have to distribute. Some you might have to do both. Do the simplifying first. So on the left side, I have 4x minus 2x minus 5. So I'm going to combine the x's and get 2x minus 5 equals. Notice I did not have to do the opposite thing because I am adding two x's that are already on the same side. Over here, I have the 6x and then 4 plus 3 is plus 7. Now this equation looks very similar to the one in the previous video if you watched it. I'm going to get the x's on one side, the numbers on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 6x. 2x minus 6x is negative 4x. I've done nothing with the minus 5 so far. Bring the 7 down. Now I'm going to put the numbers on the right side. So I have negative 4x is equal to 7 and 5 is 12. And last but not least, I'm going to get the x by itself by dividing. I always divide by exactly the coefficient in front of the x. You don't change it. So a negative 4 divided by a negative 4 becomes a positive x. A positive 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. And there is my solution set. It's the set that contains negative 3.